Team 10. Now, I don't think enough could be said about this team. And I'm not talking about the fact that these four individuals single-handedly changed the course of ninja history. I'm not even talking about things on a small scale, such as the fourth grade ninja war, or the capturing of all the biju. But more so the fact that, despite Minato's amazing transportation technique, his three students would manifest and create and unlock transportation techniques that surpassed even his. So join me as I discuss about Team 10, the masters of the teleportation techniques. So, in terms of Ren being able to use her own special version of the transportation technique, I think we can simply and quickly get this out of the way by quickly explaining it. So with Ren, she had a unique feature other than her team that allowed her to quickly transport her entire existence into the afterlife. If you know, you know. So let's start off with the leader of Team 10, Minato Namikaze. Now, for those that have been living under a rock and don't know, Minato is pretty much a master of the flying rising technique or Hiraishin because it allows him to completely disappear and reappear at tags he've put in places in. When you top that with somebody who already has tremendous speed and cover large distances in a very short amount of time, like you will really won't have too much time to react to him even being there. A lot of times he'll just appear and it's really the most effective level of transportation jutsu to date due to his speed and reaction time. The flying thunder god tops all of speed based jutsu. Don't even get me into the second half of Hirai Shinjutsu, you really you really have no chance in just defending that, especially when you're being smart because the seal doesn't ever replace. I mean, it doesn't matter how far he is, it doesn't matter how much you run at any point, he can teleport to you. And that's what makes the technique so dangerous because once you're marked, you are marked. It's pretty much known everywhere that Minato is the best user of the Flying Thunder God technique. He was at least 12, 13 using this technique. You can also use this pair along with other sealing jutsu. So, for instance, when the Nine Tails shot a Biju bomb at Minato, he was able to use the seal that he had placed on top of the Kage faces. He was able to send it to another faraway location with little to no casualties. This is just really a, a broken technique. It favors quick and speedy characters and people that have chakra natures that increase their speed. Like it's most effective with lightning style, which is one reason why you see people like Boruto have it. That's what makes it more deadly when you have a chakra nature that you can use to increase the speed on top of a ridiculously overpowered speed juicer. And that's not even me really getting into it. I feel I'm gonna eventually do in-depth breakdown of why the flying raging is just so broken because it is. I'm gonna do that in a separate video. The flying raging pretty much countered even the fastest people in the world at the time like flying Rajin, he could just appear at any point if he marks you you won't even know a lot of times so when he's there you sorry too late a lot of times I meaning so it was the fastest until his death and it's the reason why this transportation technique is just so overpowered and it's one of the hardest to learn because you, you kind of gotta have a knack for it not anybody usually can just pick up and learn it so now on to kagashi Now on to Kakashi. Now this one is really good. And before we get into it, I really want to say that I am going to do an entire breakdown on just Kamui in general. Just how really broken it really was. You know what I mean? Like people don't necessarily understand when I say this or they think I'm crazy when I say this, but up until Kakashi got his boost and Omangekyo Shangas from Obito, as good as Kakashi was with Kamui, he literally was not using it to his full potential. And the reason I say this is because before the masked man is revealed, if you, I'm gonna just say his name because if you watching this and you haven't finished Naruto, I don't know what you're doing. But before the masked man is revealed, he states, I don't fear a borrowed power that can't even string together a barrage. And this is important. This is again why I say that reading and listening comprehension is so essential because Obito is, sim is straight up letting Kakashi know, I'm not really worried about you because you can't even effectively use it. Now, of course, we know why he can't effectively use it because it's one, it's not his eye, and two, 
he's not a new Chiha, so he's not going to be able to get the most out of it. But he's supposed to be able to string together a barrage. Like, think of it like a sniper, right? A sniper rifle. Kakashi can use Kamui from long distances and he can just completely rip you limb from limb. It doesn't matter. He can basically contort and configure the point in which his eyes focus it on and eject that into and rip into an entirely different time space. Example one. Data Ruth arms, right? Not to digress, but Obito simply stated again, I don't fear a borrowed power that can't string together a barrage. Like, Kakashi is really supposed to be able to use Kamui barrage. Like, he's supposed to be able to bow, 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 bow. He's supposed to be able to snap and use Kamui over and over and over again. It's actually leading me to another point of why um, I'm gonna do a video on why Obito was so ridiculously overpowered and. <laughs> This dude ruled the ninja world with hat with only one manga kill Sharingan. This to let you know how overpowered this uh, MS is. Kakashi is supposed to be able to use Kamui and snap to different targets like because then it becomes a barrage you know and like I said Obito is letting him know like bro you're not even using that other eye to its full potential I'm not really worried about you but that doesn't mean kakashi was bad at it in fact he's probably the best anybody outside of the uchiha clan has gotten in terms of mastering the manga kill sharingan this is supported by several different people several different people in the series that wield the sharingan admitted that even though he's not an uchiha he is pretty much so skilled with it now when kakashi uses this transportation technique of course you know he can use it on himself to get in and out of the Kamui dimension and he can also put things and other people into the Kamui dimension and I find it so funny that Minato's whole team just ended up just really using their own versions of the transportation techniques because for all intents and purposes this is more of a this is the weaker version of the Kamui technique but it's still very effective it's no you can't block it it's no you just gotta move out the way. If you're not out the way of the radius, you will get destroyed by this eye. Now, like I said before, what makes this version of the transportation technique so special is that it's a long range jutsu. Like, Kakashi is literally ripping things from one dimension and literally just transporting, forcing them into another dimension. He's literally ripping a gateway from one dimension into the next and transporting it there. It's a crazy manga Kyo Sharingan because like I said, you can't block it. You need to move out of the way. If you're in Kakashi's radius of that eye, he will destroy you. Now, over the course of the series, Kakashi has increased the range and durability in which he can use this manga Kyo Sharingan. He's increased the range, the effectiveness, and how many times he can use it before his eye just gives up. I'm actually surprised he didn't go blind before it ripped both Taterus' arms off. He planned to gouge out the head of the Ten Tails with it. He planned to kill Moderate with it. Several times, he, the only reason he really couldn't do nothing is because every time he tried to use Kamui on Obito, Obito literally just negated it. He tried to tell him, that move doesn't work on me because I'm the fucking wielder of it. It's like trying to break into somebody's house while they have the keys. It's not really going to work. They're going to just negate each other. Now onto what I like to call the bread and butter of this transportation technique. The right eye of Kamui or rather Korega Kamui no Honto no Chikarada. Man, y'all got a nigga feeling like pain right now. <laughs> but in all seriousness, real power of Kamui. So the thing that makes this version of Kamui so ridiculously busted is that whatever piece or whatever part of the body that the user concentrates and focuses his chakra on he's able to basically teleport that piece of his from his body into another dimension so if i'm going to use kamui on my arm when you try to attack me i'm going to focus that chakra within my arm and the thing is this version of kamui requires a ridiculous can you imagine the a ridiculous amount of precision and chakra control commonly requires like has anybody ever thought about about thought about that like the amount of precision and the amount of chakra control 
that it would take in order to transport only the part that would be attacked that's kind of crazy i don't i have never heard anybody speak about that because you got to really give it to obito like if somebody and it's been various instances where this dude has transported a piece of his body when he's literally not even looking at you and i'm not talking about he transport his entire body it's been times where people have been aiming for his head his arm his legs his back his neck only these pieces and he's only transporting those pieces into the comedy dimension that's a ridiculous amount of chakra control that that shit requires now and with that being said it will also explain why this dude had a ridiculous ridiculously strong genjutsu like this dude genjutsu prowess is nearly unmatched i would probably only say maybe behind madara and shisui and itachi like this dude had the fourth mizukage in a bond he had that nigga in a chokehold for years like and it will make sense because if you're only transporting simply certain parts of your body that will be attacked at any given moment the reaction time that shit would take and the amount of precision and focus and chakra control that shit requires would be exponential that shit you need to really focus and have a knack for that shit and that's why that shit is it's crazy because it would really explain why his genjutsu was so fucking strong like his chakra control is stupid like in case you don't know obito can also eject giant shuriken oh i'm sorry hashiram did you need a giant fucking scroll to store those giant fucking weapons that you use not for tobito this nigga can simply store that bitch in his eye and from the look of that dimension it looks like there's an infinite amount of weapons and shit that he can store he straight up just ejected those fucking giant shurikens and knives and shit out of his eye so he can throw that shit oh he can not only not only is this manga kill so fucking overpowered that it allows this dude to just transport giant shuriken and giant weapons from his fucking eye this dude is just crazy he can store people there he stored fu and Torini there and it might be properties in his um Hamui dimension where if you transport it there he can still put you in genjutsu while in, the, while in the process of transporting you there because he stored fu and Torine within his um Kamui dimension and they were in a genjutsu outside of six past abilities and we saw what this dude is able to do when he has two Mangekyo Sharingans. This dude, while wow, with six pass chakra, he is able to literally create an entirely and open up several different dimensions outside of his own, which require an extraneous amount of chakra. So the precision and the chakra control and being able to eject giant shurikens and being able to store different people and being able to, to transport, he's literally able to go from one side of the world to the next i'm sure it takes a few seconds but he's still able to transport even easier than minato yeah i said it he might not be have reaction speed faster than minato but he definitely is able to reverse the world easier than minato and it's extremely crazy because like this kamui is not something that you can learn like the Horaishin. it's not something that you can learn like a shadow clone jutsu this shit is exclusive to obito so if he if you don't have this eye you are not going to be able to do it this transportation technique it doesn't require hand signs it doesn't require seals it doesn't require this is <laughs> it's ridiculous it's it straight up surpasses pretty much any other version of transportation technique this is pretty much the highest level of a transportation technique that you can get and <laughs> mind you this dude only had one manga kill sharingan i'm gonna do an entire video on what if obito never lost his sharingan and i'm gonna explain to everybody that's watching why this dude would not have lost the war the only thing that stopped this dude from really losing the war is yeah you could say plot armor but he not giving up that left eye to kakashi this dude on top of Kamui. Let's say for instance you burn through obito's Kamui, right let's say you burn through his Kamui and you had to deal with his fucking susano so you burn through his kamui try to get a hit on him just for him to throw up the susano rip cage this dude was ridiculously overpowered the amount of talk control that it required the amount of precision that it required the amount of focus it required the um just being able to shift from 
place to place to place so easily, man. He's literally, he literally turned into a ghost. This dude with just one manga kill showing on caused so many problems for everybody. <laughs> and literally the only way they could beat this dude was with his own eye. Had he not given that eye to Kakashi, I don't see them beating him. And I find it so funny that, again, this, when Team 10 was assembled, it's not like the Hokages and everybody that's watching the students assembling their team. They know this entire team is going to specialize in Jikaku Ninjutsu. That's not true. But I find it funny how in Naruto, fate always leads his way back. How this entire team just mastered Jikaku Ninjutsu. And Minato openly states that this is a <laughs> this is a, a, a transportation jutsu that surpasses even the icing kakashi stated no hand signs no hand seals that's the transportation technique that surpasses even the fourth hokage so i want everybody I'm, I'm gonna do another video and on top of that you don't know it's really the transportation technique unless you just have some sort of analytical eye that just allows you to understand that he's just erasing his presence and he's just going from dimension to dimension and dimension and he's completely intangible you can't hit him you can't hurt him and you're scared to look him in the eye because he might put you in a fucking genjutsu so it's like this kid was really overpowered bro and i just find it so fitting and i find it so interesting that fate just allowed this team to become really the masters of the jikaku ninjutsu techniques and it, they just became really just they changed the course of ninja history alone you know what i mean like honestly who would have sat back and thought like the team that minato would teach all three of them will play a crucial role in the story of naruto and this development in the story of the ninja world for the next 16 years even ren played a critical role in her shinino jutsu developed and unlocked transportation techniques that surpassed even his you know what i mean so all i have so much for today this wasn't this was kind of a different video and stuff like that this was kind of a video i had in the works for over a year now and i'm just really getting back into it the next video on why obito was so ridiculously overpowered that's gonna be the next video oh and lastly i promise i won't take two weeks to upload the next video the last seven to eight days have been just kind of all over the place because I have a new kitten named Shiro, so I've been taking care of her. She's been basically taking up all my time, energy, and effort, but I just needed to get this video out because this video was supposed to come out last week. So I'm going to try to get one to two videos a week at the beginning of the week and at the end of the week. Promise. <laughs> but with that being said, so if you enjoy the course, you know to do like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Mina. Mita korete. Arigato. Anata wa sugoi da ya. Hontoni. Janet.